Hello, this is Ferris Craze 11 on the. What's this game called again? Oh, yeah, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness Walkthrough, Part 14. And this time we are back in Team Snagum's hideout. And we are sneaking quietly around the guy. Good thing he can't hear me yelling, or else he would catch us! If you notice I'm being a little crazier than usual, that's because my family is out to the store and I can say whatever I want. Cause I can, and ain't nobody gonna tell me a thing about it. So yeah, we gotta fight this guy. I don't think I cut out this fight. I know one of them I do not end up cutting out at all. Not sure. Don't really care. But uh, anyway, yeah, he has a Beautify, a whatever, a Sneasel, and a Delibird. And a Zatu. Or Zatu. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of things. I hate this game. A lot of them have no pronunciation capabilities towards kids around my age of 72 and 3 quarters. And we gotta fight this guy. This guy, I think, is the one that I accidentally forgot to cut out. Or did I? I don't know. Let's see. I might have cut it out. Not sure. He is a grappler and a Rhyhorn. Yep, I cut it out. This is not that fight. Or was it part 12 where there was a guy that I didn't, that I fought that didn't cut out? I don't know. Whatever. Mischievous. Tropius. Foodlo! Which is a weird name for a Doom Snag member. I don't care. Foodlo is a weird name. Why would your mother name you that? Oh, I see from now my Zubat is still a Zubat, not a <laughs> uh, Golbat yet. He evolves after I fight Mr. Gonzap, which I happen to fight in this episode in actually a few minutes. I always love this theme. Boom 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 Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> but anyway, let's go a running around this entire universe and then we find a guy having a job interview. What's up with that? Oh wait, you didn't know that. Or did you already know that because you watched the episode before this? Haha! <laughs> Sorry if that was a little too loud and that kind of destroyed your eardrums. This is a point of self-preservation. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry if it's yelling if you think that I should stop being insane like this. Comment now! Or maybe comment a little later. Because I probably will not do this as much as I hope to. Because I plan, I want to make this fun like as some LPers do. Kind of like Nintendo LP, how he does all that crazy stuff. It's hilarious. And that's why I'm such a big fan of him. Now here's Biden. We fight Team Snagum, Joe Biden. Wait, Joe Biden has Pokemon? What the? He has an audition and a Crobat. I want that Crobat so much. I love that Pokemon. That is my favorite Pokemon from the third generation. Or was it the second? Yeah, it was the second generation. Was it? Yeah, it was the second generation. Yeah. He's my favorite out of the second generation, Crobat. He's fast, he's very good, and in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, he has an uh, awesome Poison Fang move or whatever. What the? Oh, sorry, I just heard something. Oh, well, that's just my imagination. Uh-oh, I get it now. You were on the SS Libra. Oh, my goodness. You're here to take all of our Pokemon away. And what's this in this room? Oh god, a big muscly guy with no shirt on and a small bald guy. Actually, both of them are bald. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. Like Most of them are bald. Like, what the heck? A big muscly guy hardly wearing anything on his torso. He must have come for the sand machine. I'm gonna fight you, you weirdo, with your gloom. You have like two glooms. I'm not joking. Like right here, he releases two glooms. See? I was not lying when I said that. And that's why I changed my voice to weird voices, just so I can kill everybody in the universe. 
And he has a Mantine and a Fortress. And then after that, we defeat... Oh, Grumped. I forgot, he has a Grumpig. And then we defeat him! And then we fight Gonzap! Yeah, I'm gonna join Team Snagum. Alright, you mean to get the snag machine back. You can't lie to me. Uh oh, I sped it up! Do, 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 do. He has an electrode, a nose leaf. Uh, I know he has a skarmory at the end. God, I forgot what else he has. We'll see in a minute! Right after I destroy his nose leaf. And we get to see his third Pokemon! His very third Pokemon as a child! And yeah, apparently Espeon's hidden power is ice, which helps for taking care of. Pl okay, he has a vile plume. He has electrode, vile plume, nuzleaf, skarmory, and uh, I wish I could remember what other Pokemon he had. God dang it! That's why I need to review my videos before I watch it, before I record my narration. Man, look at that file plume wagging its head like crazy. Yeah, please ignore me if you do not like any of the weird noises that I plan on making during this entire episode. So please just ignore me now. Either lower your volume or just comment six. Shut the up! Shut the up right now! Here's a wish cache. It's just like a catfish. I'm just glad it doesn't know where it's quake. Does it? I'm not sure. I don't let it live long enough to find out. <laughs> and now he takes out a Skarmory. I just know it. Yes, there's a Skarmory! I believe in the second, in the first game that Whenever you fight Gonzap, I believe he actually has a Shadow Skarmory, which is really cool to have in your collection if you want a Skarmory. I know a couple guys who like Skarmories. Playing Super Skarmory on uh, YouTube. You know, he's pretty cool with his Pokemon games, and also his Castlevania games, I love those. He's hilarious in them. It's crazy. So I'm probably just gonna be quiet for a little bit, let you watch how I destroy that Skarmory using the move Psychic. See, I just did that. Oh, here's the fun part. No. I was too fast. No. See, I lagged myself. I just lagged like that. Uh oh, my Zubat's evolving. Will it evolve straight in who cool about? Find out next time. Here on next time, we find out if he evolves into a crowbat. No, he just evolved into a stupid old gold bat. That looks retarded the way he just dances around like a little stupid thing. Walking around like, I'm drunk. We drunk people know how to walk. Not that I know anything about drunk people, even though I do, because like three of them are friends. I know three people that like to get drunk and they're funny when they're drunk very funny and hilarious ding, 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 ding. yeah we got the same quest in our minds destroy cypher and kill everybody and I have a machine on my arm again I can destroy the universe and steal Pokemon from everybody <laughs> and I got a key to get a treasure chest open, which was that one that we saw earlier that I could not open because it is locked.
with that key and if you go down here right now then uh, my mirror B is right there he's uh, over there back at Pyrite City and if you don't know how to fight him or where he is oh no he's at the Oasis Poker Spot okay well if you ever need to find him and you are and he is at Pyrite Town then all you do is go up to where the Coliseum is and do the Coliseum challenge usually he is the second third or fourth person that you fight in the Coliseum battle thing. Out of the four people, he's usually the second or third, though, for me. But you never know, he might be the champion for you, he might be the champion for me, but he's not. Because he fails at life and doesn't deserve to be called even a person. He's not a person, he's a lady. He's a strange little disco lady. And I actually thought he was a lady, so you know, that's that goes good on both parts of, uh, yeah. So anyway, we get lost trying to find that box, and then we find the box, and then we leave. I, f uh, then I open my inventory and check out what that, I d what that team was. I forget which one it was. Let's see, it was number 30, Shadow Ball. No, it's not Hyper Beam, it's Shadow Ball. <laughs> I thought it was Hyper Bean, but I forgot that I already bought it from uh. Let's see, where did I buy it? I think I bought it when I was at re at Real Game ch at Real Game Challenge, uh, Real Game Tower. You know that place we had to go whenever the lady who was actually whenever Finnick Town was uh, taken over by Cipher, and that one lady at the gate gave me that game disc thing and sent us over there to play a game. That's what part. Uh, eight, I think, was all about. Was just playing Battle Bingo. Now here we go to the Oasis Poke Spot, where we meet the dreaded Disco Freak, also known as Mirror B or Meyer B, My Roar B. I don't know. But anyway, this time he has. Uh, I forget what he has. A shuffle point. Just look at that Disco Freak. Uh, he has a Skiplin this time, that's new. It's now a Shadow Pokemon, but it's, it's pretty useless. He only has three Pokemon, it's this, that, and those. I think, uh, he has Magneton in this game, in this one, I think. I think he has a Shadow Magneton, unless I already caught that. I'm not very sure of myself, I'm never very sure of myself. Am I very sure of myself, Mr. Peterson? No! There is no such thing as Mr. Peterson. Trust me. Oh, okay, we have... Okay, I think that's the next episode where we actually get a Magneton from him. Because, you know, I actually failed. No, I don't even show it. Because, yeah. In the next part, something happened while recording. It screwed up. I accidentally saved over my file. So, I basically skipped out on, like, five different trainers and like a few of them had shadow Pokemon so you know that kinda sucks but I'm pretty close to the next cipher admin but y yeah it's I, I was angry that I ended up lo losing all that video footage because I could have taken some nice time out of the video so I wouldn't have to do as much crazy do draw stuff but now I guess I have to add some more stuff Instead of just showing pictures of Pokemon everywhere. So yeah. Let's fight that Ludicolo and let's kill him and and now Mirror B is gonna lose. Collapsing explosion! What? I don't know why I did the slow mo thing for the end of the fight versus Gonzap or him. I guess I was just bored. I was like, hey, let's do this for kicks! See if anyone likes it. And then they run and make weird noises! And then I walk away slowly, or actually pretty dang fast. And where do I go now? I just had to go. Back to the HQ. Do 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 do
how did I get here? What the heck's going on? Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh oh, gotta fight. What's Zook? Zook. Gotta fight Zook again. Zook. 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 And also, since you guys have already seen his Pokemon, I plan on cutting the fight out in 3, 2, 1. See, if you've already seen in the earlier parts of the walkthrough, you've already seen his Pokemon. If you haven't, then watch part 12. Now. I'll post a link. Should be right around the middle where... Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, uh oh, my hand hit the microphone on my headset. Yeah, he's no, he's too bothered by us now that he lost his shadow Pokemon. He's just gonna walk away because he's a sad little panda, sad little panda monkey thingy. And then no one's blocking the gate. Oh wait, they were on their lunch break with the lady of the house, Mr. Sanderson. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about a different game. Never mind. And I don't know why I said Mister whenever I said it was a lady. But anyway, they were like I don't know. They were doing coffee break or something, and they disappeared. Yeah, I was on TV. No idea what he says. If you are on TV, if you if you didn't if you said no, he'd probably say, Wait a minute. Yes, you are. I know your face anywhere. You were on TV. Yes, I'm not- wait, I'm not special, Gon Zap, you fat lard. You're fat in the upper body area. Just look at that fat all over you. Got big chubby arms and all that, you think I'm special? Well, at least you helped me out, it's good enough, you fat lard. But don't call me special ever again, or you'll be the fat lard this time. So anyway, those guys are knocked out until- you or they're knocked out for the rest of the game, actually. They must have gave them a double dose of sleep powder. Because they were dead! They got an overdose of the sleep powder from Gloom, and it killed them because they got too poisoned by the horrific stench of... Gloom. I don't know what the horrific stench would be, you see. Yeah. And we go in here a little bit, go talk to these factory managers. Yes, it is quite impressive. I'm a kid. How are you? Why are you not stopping me? I'm a kid. Yeah, you are tired, I bet, from working all day, slaving over a hot stove, making them dinner! Fat lard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh oh! Lady fall from the sky. When a lady falls from the sky, you know that's bad news. What's going on here? Oh my god, Plusle! Oh my god, Dust Ox! Oh my god, another... Oh wait, he actually... She actually has another Dust Ox, I believe. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not, though. Because who would have two Pokemon at the same time? Anyway, it's about out of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this right here. Have a nice day, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. And you should ask, and you should answer this question. Do you think I should do funny? I should try and be funny, and really I'm just acting like a retard now. Comment now! Goodbye!